World leaders, including Vice President Joe Biden, are gathering in Rome this morning ahead of the installation of Pope Francis. Let's get to NBC's Keir Simmons at the Vatican for us this morning. Keir, good morning to you. Hey, Savannah, good morning. Even if it is raining like this tomorrow, this area will still be packed. As you say, world leaders are flying in. The Pope meeting with the Argentinian president today. Meanwhile, the chairs are out, the barriers are up, and the Pope's message, remember the poor and his style, is winning fans with people on the street here. As Pope Francis prepares for his installation mass, Vice President Biden arrived in Rome Sunday. But it is ordinary men and women who are connecting with the Pope in an extraordinary way. Francis walking over to a crowd of a few hundred people just to say hello, leaving his security scrambling. Then Sunday he greeted tens of thousands in St Peter's Square for his first Angelus, even making them laugh. Buongiorno. In the crowd, we met Philadelphia's cardinal, Justin Regali. This is unique. This is a wonderful opportunity. I mean, it's the first time the new Pope, Pope Francis, appears. The first time he gives his blessing here. Preparations for the Pope's inauguration in the same square are underway. We've got the setup already. We've got the big screens here. Yeah. You're expecting a lot of people, aren't you? About a million people are expected on, on Tuesday for the mass of the inauguration. Father Thomas Rosica, embraced by Pope Francis Saturday, works at the Vatican. He has taken the world by storm. He's taken all of us by surprise and by storm. And I think many of us who are up close to the situation find ourselves between two emotions of laughter and tears. And many believe his new style means a new direction for the church and the Vatican leadership, the Curia. I don't think we really know uh, all about what this pope is going to do. Clearly, you know, the cardinals want him to reform the Vatican Curia. And I think he's going to start doing that just symbolically. Officials have been told they'll keep their roles temporarily, but I'm told many of them are worried, Savannah. Meanwhile, Italians are loving it. Yesterday, at the end, the Pope told them, go and have lunch. What a great way to win fans amongst Italians to tell them to go and have something to eat, Savannah. And a good place to do it, too. Keir Simmons in Rome for us this morning. Right. Thank you.